Hello everybody, welcome to this video all about arithmetic operations. Today we'll be focusing on money. So how does one solve questions involving money? Let's read a short description on how we might solve these kinds of questions and what they might entail. Problems involving money usually involve a mix of arithmetic operations. These questions usually require a basic knowledge of banking terms. These banking terms could be withdraw, which is take out money, invest, which is put in money, or even basic ones like selling and buying and so forth. Note that money questions do not have to use Australian or real life currency. Some questions will invent currencies and ask you to exchange and convert from one another. So money questions, I find, are the, one of the most applicable kinds of questions to real life as it's something we kind of use every day, whether it be from banking or shopping or even calculating conversion rates between different currencies if you want to shop online. Usually money questions will involve a lot of comparing between different rates and sell points. So let's try some examples. Say... Example one, so this is the most simple form of question. Let's say a pencil was $1.20 and a pen was $2. If Ben bought two pens and one pencil, How much did he spend? Well, we can calculate this by just 2 times 2 for the pens plus $1.20 for the pencil. We know 2 times 2 is 4 plus one twenty. Now, when we do this, don't forget where the decimal point is that separates the dollars from the cents. So then the point will get transferred over and then 4 plus 1 is 5. So in total, Ben spent $5.20. Let's do another example. Example two. Let's say shop A sells oranges for four orange for $20. Shop B, on the other hand, sells three oranges for $18. Which one sells the cheaper oranges? So in order to calculate this, let's do have the same comparison rate. So let's try and go for one orange for each shop. So shop A has for one orange, it would be 20 divided by four, which equals $5. And then for shop B, for one orange, it will be 18 divided by three, which is $6. Therefore, we can say that shop A has a better price. Now let's do some proper questions. A certain supermarket sells beans in four different quantities. Which of the four deals is the best buy? Before we do anything, we need to convert everything to the same measurement so we can actually compare the prices. As you can see, maybe we can convert it to kilograms. So, shop A. We already know that that's 360 per kilogram, so we don't need to change anything. Let's go B. Shop B has 1.75 per 500 grams. So in order to change this into kilograms, we times two on each side. Because we know 500 grams times two is a kilogram. So in order to do this, we go 1.75 times 2 per kilogram, which equals, let's do the calculations in this bottom here, 2 times 5 is 10, 
2 times 7 is 14, plus 1 is 15. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 3. And then don't forget the decimal point. So it becomes $3.50 per kilogram. Okay, let's do C. C is kind of complicated because it is $1.33 per 400 grams. Let's first convert this into 100 grams. So in order to do this, we divide by 4 on each side. So then we get 1.33 divided by 4 per 100 gram, which is 0 0.3325 per 100 gram. And then we can times 10 on each side because we know 100 grams times 10 would be a kilogram. So if it's times 10, we just move the decimal point up. So it becomes 3.325 per kilogram. So D has 6.80 per 2 kilogram. We just need to divide 2 on each side to get 1 kilogram. So it will be 6.80 divided by 2 per kilogram. So we know 6 divided by 2 is 3. And then 80 divided by 2 is 40. So we get 340 per kilogram. Finally, we have E, which is $1 per 250 grams. So $1 per 250 grams. This one's also quite easy as we can just times 4 because we know 250 times 4 is 1,000 which is 1 kilogram. So 1 times 4 per kilogram. So we know it's 4 per kilogram. Now, if we have these answers, we can see that this is the cheapest price, $3.325 per kilogram. Therefore, the answer is C. So just remember in comparison questions, sticking to the same measurement is very important. As you can see, we converted everything into kilograms in this scenario. Money questions can come in all sorts of different varieties, so it's good to be flexible in how you solve them. I hope you learned something from this video and good luck to any future questions you might encounter that involves money. Bye!